Hey everyone, Sunset Coder Soul in here. I know it's been a while since the last upload or last Twitch stream. <laughs> a lot has happened. I was graduating school, I worked on a movie, and then right after I went and worked on another short. And then after that, I went to New York. So I've been tired, but thank you so much for being so patient with me. I think my next moves are to make more YouTube videos. I need to finish Colonel Sanders, so if you're watching this, I'm currently working on Colonel Sanders, or this is the Colonel Sanders episode. I don't know. I still don't have it, my life all the way together. I'm working on more episodes there and just trying to get the series out. Then I'm going to work on more playthroughs maybe, maybe longer playthroughs, maybe some short Mimi stuff like the Overcooked series. It just takes a lot out of me to edit, but it takes even more energy for me to stream because I'm not really a social person. I feel guilty when I'm not having a good day and then I stream and then the stream turns out to be bad. So I'm going to take that pressure off of me and just edit out the awkwardness. I want to focus more on being on YouTube rather than being on Twitch. I'm not saying goodbye to Twitch forever, but for now I'm going to focus more on YouTube. So yeah, I hope you're still around to see me. I miss all of you. Yeah. Enjoy the video. I'm out. I'm out of here. Bye. Here's what happened in the last episode. I think I might like clank. <laughs> oh god. Well, I'm definitely not a, supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes pain ache. Is that what pan how, how is, What is pan, that? <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> Pancakes. <laughs> it, it takes, takes pancakes. It takes pancakes, honey, to get this good, okay? It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Potatoes they again? <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, potatoes are great. Potatoes are great, but talk about a one-hit wonder. Oh, God. oh shit. Okay, oh, whatever. No. Oh, my uh, God, I don't know. Where does the energy come from? Um, oh, um. Small I town. I <laughs> shit. <laughs> I didn't pick one. Sizzling? <laughs> No! We're sucking. Is this the end? Yep. No! Over. Oh! Try again, try again! We have to rescue the dough before it's too late. Oh, or no. before it's overmixed. Slurpy poo poo, no! Is her, like, is your hand gonna get cut off? And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's intense. And, uh, ladies, friends, and, uh, uh, non binary or friends, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. And guys. And guys. <laughs> and uh, pet snails. If you got a pet snail, oh. shout them out. Gary, what's up? Yo. Yeah, Gary. Gary, what's up? Okay. Gary, Larry, Barry. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at this. Uh, we just ruined our cooking, I believe. We're going to get our hand chopped off. Something like that. We're um we're in fierce competition with Van Van and Ashley, and um we just shoved our hand into the mixer, so it's gonna get epic. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if we uh lose 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 any blood. <laughs> but you're not fast enough, and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the s quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Oh ew. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. No. Oh no. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. Damn, she, Ashley's thick. Do you see this? She's like spilling over. Yeah, she's over. spilling out of those thigh highs. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. <laughs> Sweetheart, look at your hand. Oh. You simply can't go on. Bark, bark. Oh, he's crying. Aw, that's too bad. And here I am with my completed dish ready to serve. Surely that will make me the winner by default. Ready to serve some looks with that luggage. Oh. Love you. <laughs> no, no luggage. It wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Slurpy Poo Poo's injury. Bark, bark. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. 
Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Whoa. Under the white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of, ex <laughs> of excellence. <laughs> excellence. I was gonna ask Slurpy Poo Poo to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring the creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you don't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. <clears throat> Colonel Sanders pours hot chocolate sauce on the top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. What the hell? Ooh. Uh, oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. Inside, you'll find delicate fried cheese. Croquet? Okay. Atop a slice. What does that say? Croquet? Cro cro croquet? Crockett? <laughs> <laughs> fried cheese crockett on top of a slice of honeycomb. <laughs> Ice cream two ways tender no nougat. No nougat. nougat. <laughs> Nougat. Get that nougat in. <laughs> right and, in that pool. And, per and per <laughs> that pearls of blueberry gilly. Gilly. A whole bunch of stuff. Just a bunch of really good <laughs> It's really flavors. good. Fancy if stuff. You're in a There's honeycomb in there. <laughs> if you're in a cooking competition, it's really good, I swear. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's good, I swear. <laughs> Colonel Sanders <laughs> seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Ooh. Uh oh. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Ooh. Oh, you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> As he places a soft covered, so soft covered, sauce covered finger to his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something in his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Oh, no. Oh. Internalize the rage you feel or put yourself between them. Ooh. <sighs> you. Should we handle ourselves, or... I mean... They're I having a moment. I feel like, like... What if it's not meant to be? <laughs> I feel like Colonel might get pissed if you try to jump at them. He's... Uh, but what if he's like, ooh, what fiery love you have for me? Oh... Dude, I don't know. I feel like he's cocky enough that, like, he might like it if, like, there's, like, girls, you know, coming at him. That's true. Let's push this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you reach out with your apron to wipe the sauce off his glistening face. Ooh. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. What? Oh, no. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement. It's also functional. I was saving that flavor for later. It's a flavor saver. Oh. Game oh, over. Yeah. We lost. No. Dude, we suck right I know. now. <laughs> what the hell? What an ass, honestly. He's so annoying. I hate him. I thought we were going to have like a cute moment where it's like, oh, let me clean you off. <laughs> oh, that doesn't. Never oh, mind. No, <laughs> Never mind. Do yeah. it. Cute. Really cute. We're at the beginning? Let's let's oh, see if man. we can get all the, the questions right, maybe. Oh, should we? Yeah, maybe we won't mess up. Should we try a different option, maybe? Do you think? Let's just try it. It can't hurt. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Demand that they stop wasting everyone's time. Is everything a competition with you two? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, not with me. I'm on a personal journey. To learn, to love, to learn to love? Sure, why not? But definitely not to constantly battle. Yeah, stop getting your genres crossed. Don't you think having some portable monsters to capture? Don't you have some portable uh, monsters to capture? Oh something? my god. <laughs> They're definitely like Team Rocket, right? <laughs> yep. Miriam's on to something. <laughs> I need to eat if I'm going to have the energy to sustain my education and pursue the dreams of being a master chef. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere if we're constantly fending off challenges from every know-it-all with an apron? This is existential as fuck. Seriously. <laughs> Besides, I already brought my own lunch. Slurpy Poo Poo, you should have it. It will give you the energy you need to succeed. Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Tiny food! 
my special grilled cheese and tomato soup with chocolate milk to wash it down and a tartlet for dessert. Uh, it only takes you about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but it's just what you needed for motivation. <laughs> you know what? I've learned enough for today. Let's bat. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have to battle anyways. Well, Let's battle! Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Oh, wait, I think the rest of this is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turn on the timer. All right, but we know we know the answers now. Hopefully. Or do we? <laughs> Hopefully. Because when it gets Watch weird. Watch it be completely new. Seriously. Maybe if we get them all right, then, like, the weird distracting part won't happen. Maybe. Okay, let's... Let's get this right. Oh, there, there's that bop again. Okay. I know, Celsius. this is a bop. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, wait, this is new. Winner gets right. to rub my furry belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. <gasps> oh, yeah, we gotta rub his belly. I'm enticed. You're gonna need to season the chicken before you cook it. Blah, blah, blah. So, 11. 11. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh no. Gratitude. Uh, gratitude. Yes. yes. All right. If you're a child, blah, 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 blah. Small town, small town. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We we're so good. <laughs> Love having to retake a test three times. Silence. Uh, <laughs> silence. Pro gamers. <laughs> MLG. Mm-hmm. He believes in us. He loves us. Yes. We're gonna fuck later. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, oh, no. Oh, shit. Either, either all of them were the wrong answer. Uh-uh. We're gonna lose our hand again. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my hand. Uh, uh, uh. Beach! <laughs> Son of Beach! Should we just skip to the next decision? Oh, yeah. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, so we get our hand cut off any, either way. Yeah. And then she's like... Eh. Yeah, yeah, Her yeah, weird yeah, fucking yeah. dessert. Uh. I oh, guess we'll have all to... right. Internalize the rage. Con the rage burns so intensely. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel. <laughs> don't let them know. <laughs> Within your eyes, even though your eyes are on, literally on fire, <laughs> we have to let it go, Stacy. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> the cold never bothered us anyway. That's why we're in flames. <laughs> mm -hmm. The flames cause your eyebrows oh, to catch fire. Oh my god. <laughs> And turn to ash as they fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. <laughs> Perhaps forever. Colonel Sanders yes, looks so disgusted with us. We caught our eyebrows We're on a fire. hot mess. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> ashamed and- uh, or um, embarrassed and ashamed by your poor f performance. Not to mention your crispy fried brow. <laughs> you run for the quad to be alone. Don't chase me! <laughs> the beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders! He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley aren't in love and decided <laughs> to get married. <laughs> and he I have something to tell you. I am seeing someone else. <laughs> she has long purple hair and... He has a star big, on his forehead. <laughs> big thighs. Oh. <laughs> And he won't, won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. Oh my god. Aww. You tried to hide from him, but he pr approaches you directly. <gasps> I know you're hurting right now. Not just from a devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. Bow, bow, bow. I'm fine. <laughs> Can't you leave me alone? I'm such a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. Oh. I what? Oh. <laughs> oh. My what? <laughs> your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> but for all of us, do you think I've never failed at anything before? Because I haven't. Because I'm perfect. Ugh. That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. 
I wasn't always the man you see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. He's so annoying. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. <laughs> but I Baby, walked other paths. I was paths. born this way. And he just breaks <laughs> up to Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've arrived at dead ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining him like take off the apron and he's like in like a yeah. unitard and he's just like woo you're like bleeding and your skin is burnt <laughs> and he's just like dancing around and you're like help <laughs> oh shit oh did you already read this yeah <laughs> I, I sang the last oh, part shit. of his line <laughs> I was passionate about life but I failed as an obstetrician what the hell is but that but sometimes I failed obstetrician <laughs> Google search. <laughs> All right. I'm on. Well, Obst- some. I can't. I'm reading. Obstetrician. Obs. What? He's an ostrich. Oh, wait. I got it. I got it. I know a lot of big words. What Siri, define obstetrician. Obstetrician means <laughs> a physician or surgeon qualified to practice in obstetrics. Well, there you go. What's obst- what? That's not very <laughs> helpful. <laughs> Thanks, Siri, for nothing. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. (laughs) I I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now but it hasn't always been (laughs) jeez god he's so annoying (laughs) sound like it sounds like this guy could really use a hug no (laughs) he's like i used to suck so i get it but i don't suck anymore so (laughs) i resolved all that was going on uh no amount of hours labor or money would deter me from giving the best i had to give as Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. He's on fire! The cold bothered him anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Let's be on fire together, Slurpy Boo Boo! <laughs> Let's burn the school! One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure, it's honest, it's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. Chicken. I will create a chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to an entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Oh! Yeah! Uh, yay! I want to kick him in the face. <laughs> Just as your Ow. moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadow, shadowy presence. Oh no. <laughs> Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster. No! Or call the spark monster is here to fight our hero. (laughs) (laughs) Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Gorko, but I I could have sworn we already bowed you last night. That was Borko, my twin. And I Gorko in here, and I'm, I'm here to uh, revenge him. <laughs> Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders smirks. He is already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't think he would have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that, so if I could take it back, I would. I, I swear. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Slurpy Poo Poo is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose <laughs> we really don't need to fight. It's just that I've been... I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. Oh! (laughs) 
inspiration strikes you and you come up with a quick idea. Chomp on this! You toss a biscuit into Goku's <laughs> open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. <gasps> oh, lore. Uh -oh. I don't believe it. You were a human once? Well, no. I was a chihuahua. But I was still a student at this school until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. <gasps> Is that that book uh -oh. we found? Ooh. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, a magic spell book. Precisely. Burko used oh, to have right. a copy, but somewhere along the way, I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. Respect me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a powerful chef and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. <laughs> guile? Question guile. mark. Guile? <laughs> if you need me, don't fear. I will be here. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Slurpy poo poo. Together, I'm sure we can defeat them. Even though, okay, uh, come back to my hut. Whoa! Come back to my hideaway, and we can discuss. Oh Whoa! We're gonna have, we're gonna have some special alone time in his hideaway. <laughs> A personal to discuss. Invite. To dis discuss. Ugh, boring. <laughs> you can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're gonna, you're about to find out. <gasps> Whoa! Chicken. Oh my God! The chicken. Do you see his? <laughs> his pictures? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, there's just like a we got urn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounding bu surrounded by all his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting li li Where? Where is the excitement? It yeah, just looks like bruh. a cabin. In like the two items he owns. Yes. <laughs> Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. <laughs> Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It, it's just a side dish I've been tinkering with, trying to get the, find the right balance of flavors and textures i'm not sure if i nailed it yet but i'm close <laughs> oh you, do you realize how I'll far are you oh oh <laughs> like do you, do you guys see how far he is like from the center you know like i feel no. like something's gonna pop up right here oh no oh yeah maybe colonel sanders eyes we'll perk see. up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing it, it's meant to pair with something spicy Something crispy, both perhaps. Ooh. Now you got him uh, right when you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Hmm. I mean, he kept a secret, kind of, right? Yeah. He told you one ingredient. He might. What if he's evil? What if he uses it against us? Bro. Uh. I feel like revealing it's like the obvious thing, just like. I don't know. I think he'd get mad if we kept it a secret. Or he might respect it? I if don't know. Going, I can't read this guy. Yeah, he's literally, like, the most- He's too chiseled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm, let's reveal it. You decide okay. you're ready as ever you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you reach- It's dark in here! <laughs> <laughs> you reach into your lunch bag for a special dis d d dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. Oh my god. I present to you my original coleslaw! Oh. Ew. I like coleslaw. Is that bad? Oh, it's alright. No. It's just like mayonnaise -y salad, right? 
<laughs> pretty much. <laughs> kind of. The sh- It's often served with, like, chicken strips, so. Yum. Now I'm hungry. Ugh. Uh, the shredded cabbage dish glisten, glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. <laughs> <gasps> Magnificent! Dude, I keep looking at his shirt and like seeing this little button, right? I keep thinking that's his nip. <laughs> just <laughs> a just, tiny he just, nip. <laughs> he just has really tiny and high up nips. <laughs> that just poke through his shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Together you chow down on the creamy slaw. Until a spoonful mm. of rem- <laughs> remains in the di- in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm very sentimental. Sure. W- uh, uh, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in a moment. He walks out naked. <laughs> Let me slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> he comes back in his Lady Gaga outfit like, I was born this way. <laughs> I made this choreographed dance just for you. Do you like it? He makes chicken noises while he dances. <laughs> yeah. It's an over-glorified chicken dance. <laughs> You realize now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. No! Bro. Come on, Slurpee. Around the room are various items that you can look at, Slurpee. You can look closer at. Each t- item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to learn more about the card. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> the urn. I need to know who's in the urn. Same! All right. You take a closer look at the urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. But you wipe it off. You can, when you wipe, wipe, wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, Here lies the ashes of all my past careers in business. Bro. Oh my god. He burned the fucking mule. He <gasps> killed it. <gasps> the mule's in there. <laughs> all the mule he's ever dealt with. Poor guy. Alright. Is that a comb? What, what, should what we is click on that? This? Click the comb thing. I wonder how many we're allowed to click on. I don't know. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the cone. <gasps> Do not take it. That's so weird. Do not take it. Uh, a por- upon further inspection, you realize that the hair w- therein isn't just silver in color. It's actually made of spun silver. Oh. I mean, I okay, <laughs> we can take it. <laughs> All right. What should we click on next? I think it's letting us click on everything. <laughs> Uh, All the sparklies have disappeared from the comb and the yeah. urn. Uh, Click the chicken? yeah chicken. <laughs> you notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't re- just realistic; it's real. Taxidermy must have been important to Colonel Sanders when he was alive. I don't know. <laughs> that just makes me so uncomfortable. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, sitting out. This guy's fucked. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. What is the actual state bird? Alright, I'll Google that. (laughs) You click on something. Oh, the door just opened. That's creepy. (gasps) Should we click on the door? Let's click on the door. I feel like this other stuff is... Oh, oh God. (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) Excuse me. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suit hanging within. You take one off the hanger and try it on. Bro. (gasps) It's a little big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he why- asks you asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually lose lo- lo- loan those <laughs> out, but I must say it does look good on you. Also, uh, the Northern Cardinal is the state bird of Kentucky. Well, that's just uh, a fucking lie, then. Chicken's not <laughs> the true the, <laughs> the true bird, bruh. Oh crap! The jacket. You forgot to take it off. 
Make a big move. Tell him you're cold. Fess up and tell the truth. Oh. Um. I don't know. I can't read, like, where we are with this guy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like he mostly is just, like, yeah, cooking buddy, right? Yeah. He doesn't I think feel he... for us that way. I don't think he does. Mm. Unless we make him feel Maybe... it. Maybe... Maybe tell him you're cold. I mean, what would like, the truth be? like a good be? lie. That you're obsessed with him and want to smell his scent. What? I just yeah. wonder, what's the difference between making a move and just telling him the truth? Like, I feel like those are both obvious. I feel like making a move would be like making something flirty out of oh. it. Oh. I don't know. Uh. Like, yeah, I do look cute he <laughs> Your arms Can go in your here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try your apron? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's tell him we're cold. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I just got a little cold and thought this might warm me up. Colonel Sanders smiles and scoots, uh, scoots close to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Ooh! Ah! <gasps> oh! Good move. Good move. <laughs> Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow, <laughs> and you should be thinking about what you're gonna cook. I, I should be home studying. Bro. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and what? run for the door. What a bitch. God, God damn it, bitch. Look at his face. He's so disappointed. He's like, he, he wanted some. He's given us way too many chances. <laughs> But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Oh! Colonel? Yes. Slurpy poo poo. <laughs> poo, -poo, -poo. I honestly think this might be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. <gasps> He's flushing. Ooh! <gasps> Is he? Or is that just, like, the line of his cheekbone? I feel like there's a little red. A little bit. I can't he's, tell. He's a little blushy-blushy, you know what I mean. I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> you talk late into the night <laughs> and drift off into a slumber. You stayed there? <gasps> Dream sequence! Oh. <gasps> oh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> he's a ghost now. Oh, I want to see that ten more times. You awake to a beautiful morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Whoa. You spent the night. Mm -hmm. You did spend the Zane. night. Oh my God. Dude, we're going to fail the exam, though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll figure out in the next episode. <gasps> Goodbye, guys. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>